And tonight, the county is in the middle of the worst flu outbreak in years. If you haven't gotten sick, you probably know someone who has. 10 News reporter Preston Phillips is live at Rady Children's Hospital. And Preston, doctors there are calling this flu season unprecedented. Unprecedented, Kimberly, because here at the hospital, they're dealing with two epidemics at the same time. On Monday alone, 340 patients were seen here in the emergency room with the flu. Now hospital staff is ramping up, preparing for the hundreds more cases expected. Right now, the county is in the middle of a flu epidemic. Rady Children's Hospital being inundated with patients, both with the flu and respiratory syncytial virus, or RSV, which is similar to a really bad cold. We're experiencing the peak of an epidemic of RSV virus at the same time we're experiencing an epidemic of influenza, and, and that's rather unprecedented. In response, Dr. John Bradley says extra sections of clinic space behind the emergency department have been opened up, and in the office building next door, the hospital's about ready to take over one of the conference rooms and turn that into a clinic, too. Have you ever seen it this bad? During the pandemic a few years ago, when the swine flu first overwhelmed the, the whole country and the world, we were seeing numbers that were this high, actually and even higher. So far this year, 19 San Diego County residents have died from the flu, 11 just last week, while last year at this time, 17 had died. There have been at least 3,265 flu cases. One reason, the flu vaccine, proving only 23% effective. Just last week, this beautiful little five-year-old girl from Las Vegas died from the flu, and she had been immunized. And this year, Mother Nature pulled a fast one on us. The H3N2 influenza A strain mutated in the southern hemisphere just before it came north to the northern hemisphere for our outbreak. And I asked Dr. Bradley how he keeps from getting sick, considering he's around sick people all the time. He says hand sanitizer, and he's constantly washing his hands. He, should, he said you should be doing the same, especially if you're handling public surfaces like shopping carts with what's going around right now. We're reporting live tonight from Rady Children's Hospital. Preston Phillips, 10 News.